Hi friends, it's Jen and welcome back. Uh, today I thought I would try something a little bit different. I feel like I say that for every one of my videos, but like I'm new to book too, so every video is different. Um, but I thought I would do a tag video today. This is like my first like official tag sort of. Um, and this is actually a tag that I saw going around on booktube uh, back in like December, January, so I'm a little late to the party. Um, but what the video is, is you can probably tell from the title, it's the Do I Have That Book Challenge? And basically, I watched someone do this back in December, so I actually did watch the video. And then I finished it and I was like, shoot, I should have not watched that because the idea is that you have to try and find a book that matches to like a specific kind of thing um, and you time yourself to see if you can do it the fastest. So I gave myself an adequate amount of time to properly forget all of the questions, hopefully, and I will give it a try. Um, but yeah, the idea is that you have a certain number of questions, I can't even remember how many, and you have to see if you have a book that fits that type of of questions. So I'm really, really excited. Um, so I will get my questions up here and we will start the timer and let's go. Okay. Oh, can't scroll properly. First question, do I have a book with deckled edges? Oh, that's an easy one. I know for a fact Mitch Album does all of his books it would be so funny if this didn't have deckled edges. I don't know if you can tell, but they all have deckled edges. Um, the second one, do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? Oh God, I have no idea. Um, no, one person, that doesn't have any people. Do I have any books with any people on the cover? That one has two. Oh, I'm knocking things off. That has one. What about this? Ah. I got it! The eye of the world. One, two, three people! <laughs> there we are. Okay. Um, do Number three. Uh, do you have a book based on another fictional story? Do I? Oh! Right in front of me. I haven't read it yet, but I've heard this is based off of Pride and Prejudice. I could be very wrong though, but that's what I've heard. <laughs> Okay, uh, number four. Do you have a book with a title 10 letters long? Oh my god. Um, that's longer. No. None of them. Oh, I got it. Oh shit, it's still in the box. Oh god, this is the hardest part. <laughs> I got this and I haven't taken it out yet. Um, Neverwhere, N-E-V-E-R-W-H-E, -E no! I can't count, N-E-V-E-R-W-H-E-R-E, -E -E. Neverwhere. There we are, I'm not gonna bother putting that back in right now. Um, do you have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter. Okay, um. All these books are the, and not, they're not ending in T. Um. Ah, finally. Storm of Swords. I'm gonna drop the A. Storm of Swords. S S. It counts. <laughs> All right. Number six. Do you have a mass market paperback? Ugh, I don't know. I don't like mass market paperbacks. Let's see. Do I? Oh, here's one. Stephen King, the girl who loved Tom Gordon. Never read the book. I someone was moving and gave it to me secondhand, but I've got it. I've got one. Okay. Do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? Oh, I was actually just talking to a coworker about this today. I had no idea Lars Kepler is actually like a husband and wife duo who write under the name Lars Kepler. She just told me that today. What a weird coincidence. All right, I've got one, Lars Kepler. All right. 
Um, do you have a book with a character's name in the title? Well, I have a Harry Potter shelf, <laughs> so let's just say Harry Potter. So that one's nice and easy. I feel like everyone probably chose Harry Potter for that one, but like I legitimately don't know if I have another one. Um, do you have a book with two maps in it? I have no idea. Um, let's go to some of my fantasies. Fantasy, fantasy, fantasy. We'll start with Mistborn. Oh, here's a mass market paperback. Um, ah, here we are. One map. Two maps. Doesn't have a third map, but it's got two, so we're good. All right. Um, do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? Yes, yes, I do. Um, where is it? Oh God, my, I need to redo my shelves. I'm gonna have to do a video of redoing my shelves, but The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Ah, go in there. Uh, never mind. It's fine, I'll redo my shelves. You have a book written by somebody who is originally famous for something else. Yes, yes, I have the, fa oh, I'm dropping Dumbledore. The Vault in Our Stars by John Green, who was originally famous for being a YouTuber. Um, do you have a book with a clock on the cover? Easy. The Night Circus. <laughs> I swear everybody probably chose The Night Circus, but like it's my favorite book. How could I not? Um, do you have a poetry book? No, I legitimately don't. I don't really read poetry, so I don't own a poetry book. Shoot. Well, I guess I failed. <laughs> Okay, I guess we'll skip that one. Uh, do you have a book with an award stamp on it? Oh, yeah! I was actually just looking at that book just the other day for my last video. Um, where did I put it? Oh, no! This is the hardest part. It's not even, like, knowing that you have a book. It's, like, knowing where it is on your shelf. Um. Oh, here it is. The Graveyard Book. An award stamp. There we are. I like how I pointed to it like you guys don't know what an award stamp looks like. This is what an award looks like. All right. Um, do you have a book written by the author with the same initials as you? Oh, I don't think so. E-N-A. G-M, T-F. Um. Hmm. I don't think I do. Well, I'm failing this challenge all over. Oh, I do have. Um, so technically, it's not my initials, but my initials are J-O, and they're right there. <laughs> maybe, maybe, I'll count it. I literally do not know of an author. Like, I can't even think of one off the top of my head who has the initials J-O. Clearly, I just need to write a book. For all us J.O.'s out there. Um, do you have a book of short stories? Yes. Sleep No More by P.D. James. I didn't really like it, to be honest. Uh, do you have a book that's between 500 and 510 pages long? I don't know. Let's see. Start. Poor Dumbledore. I feel like I already used The Fault in Our Stars. I probably can't again, but... I mean, I don't even know how many pages it hits. 313, not a... I'm trying to find books that look slightly larger. Um, this one. Not 500. Bigger than that. What about American Gods? How many pages does this have? Okay, I get it. You 700! This is too many! Four hundred, not enough. Neil Gaiman, what are you doing to me? Um, six hundred. Now, after this, we're gonna have to um, have a video of Jen cleans up the stack of books off to the side here. Um, what about Harry Potter's? Six hundred. Way too many. Graveyard book. Why do they have so much extra stuff at the back of the book? How is this only 313 pages? 
I'm literally gonna have to go through every one of my books, I swear. Mm, 550. 455. Is this one bigger? No, that one's smaller. I honestly don't think I do. I don't think I do. Oh my god, the night circus is literally like two pages too long. Otherwise it would have been perfect. This is impossible. One eternity later. Oh wait. Okay, okay, okay. Technically, the final page of the story is 509. There are, if you flip the next page, a page, like two pages of acknowledgement, so it technically ends on 512, but the story ends on 509. I'm counting it, this has taken me an eternity, and a giant mess. <laughs> um, okay, do you have a book that was turned into a movie? Well, I already used The Fault in Our Stars, and I've already used Harry Potter. Um, what else has been turned into a movie? Oh, I can't believe I didn't say Game of Thrones for a TV show. Um... Oh, well here, I'm not taking it out of the thing, but I have the Maze Runner series. There we are. <laughs> Maze Runner. Um... Do you have a graphic novel? I do! I have one single graphic novel, and it's Book Love by Debbie Tung. I really liked it. It's really cute. If you love books, I think you'll love it. Um, do I have a book written by two or more authors? Yes! What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. It was okay. And that's it! I did it! And we ended 13 minutes and 23 seconds. It was that damn question about 500, 510 pages. That was so specific. But overall, I think I did okay. There was only one question I couldn't really find an answer to and like two that I kind of had to like cheat an answer to. But overall, I have quite a few books and I think if this thing has taught me anything, it's that I need to reorganize my bookshelves because not only are they a giant mess and completely like unusable, they also are filled of books that I haven't read and I need to fix that. <laughs> but anyway, if you guys liked the video, make sure to let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!